Hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you five fragrances I've been obsessed with this week. We have a mix of old and new, niche and affordable, well mostly niche this time because I've been doing a lot of affordable videos. We're going to take it back to niche for a little bit because there are some niche discoveries that are like chef's kiss amazing. I've been loving um, and I'm going to be talking to you about them today. But if this is your first time watching, hello, my name is Anya. I love fragrances and I post on this channel every single Wednesday along with a ton of, a ton of content, bonus content in between. So if you're interested, definitely consider subscribing. So let's get started with actually well a new item and i'm gonna pull up the notes because there's a lot going on in this fragrance and yes i'm gonna tell you what i think it smells like but there is a lot in this fragrance it's a very interesting perfume i'm referring to the house of oud wabi sabi this is a fragrance that i have had my eye on for quite some time and it was kindly gifted to me by the brand um I love this. I love this. If you love tea fragrances with something a little bit spicy, citrusy, for instance, if you're a fan of Gucci Memoir, um, not that these are similar by any means, but I'm talking about like that like tea-like kind of accord. Um, this is this is something that's like an elevated version of that, uh, more complex. Uh, very, very interesting. So we have top notes of lime, bergamot, citrus leaves, pear, wasabi. And pink pepper. Sorry, I'm like, I'm just getting my coffee in my system. Mid notes of jasmine, elang elang, Turkish rose, resins, and geranium. And then base notes of vanilla, musk, and cinnamon. This is a soft, spicy, citrusy perfume. Very heavy on the citrus. I smell a lot of the tea. It's very nicely blended. There are some florals here, obviously, that you can smell. I've just been wearing this one a lot, like spraying it on. It's not a beast performer by any means. It's more of a lighter fragrance. It's very refreshing. And I've been loving it for that purpose. This is something that I'll, I'll absolutely be reaching for in the summertime because it's just like a really nice, fun, refreshing, light perfume. Uh, but still something with like a little bit of complexity and uniqueness. Plus the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure if you can see. It's like this really interesting design. I've tried um, a few fragrances from House of Oud. Like nothing, this is my first House of Oud fragrance in my collection. I've tried a few fragrances from them and this has always stood out to me as just being like a very special perfume because there's a uniqueness to it that I just really, really love. And it's a very comforting scent to me. So this is going on the comforting scents list, absolutely. In fact, a lot of these fragrances are going on that list because this has been a hectic work week. I just got back from Essence and going around Italy and it's been hectic. But these fragrances have certainly been helping me calm down. And this is absolutely one of them. So I've been spraying this one on like pretty much everywhere. And then um, I usually go in with like something else later throughout the day. But this is like my first opening ceremony. The day is bright. Let's start off the morning with the House of Moods. Uh, Wabi Sabi. Speaking of a work day fragrance, I'm going to take it back to something that's affordable, designer. You already know what I'm talking about. Pure Poison by Dior. I, uh, this was like my first, uh, fragrance that I wore when I was like back from like, you know, back from Italy and jet lagged and I had to go into the office and I was like, I'm just going to spray this on because this is reliable. It's going to stay on throughout the day. I'm going to have wafts of it. It's a very comforting fragrance for me as well. Um, it's a, it's a really good performer. So essentially this is like gardenia, jasmine, but it's like uh, kind of like a elevated version of those notes with a really beautiful clean musk um, that stays throughout the day. It's amazing. Um, I think there are also some citruses in here as well, but people love this fragrance. Like I don't think I've really met anyone who didn't like it. Um, it's a really nice perfume, especially on my skin. It projects beautifully and I absolutely love it. So Pure Poison by Dior, this is essential for me. Um, and I've pretty much like almost, like I'm almost halfway through. This was like one of my most used fragrances of last year for a reason. It's a really good one. So Pure Poison by Dior, love this one. So next we have a twofer. This is Reinvented. They have two fragrances that I have been obsessed with. Uh, the first is Epiphany. You know how much I love this. This is amazing. It's like a soft lectonic cardamom, uh, lime, saffron, uh, resinous perfume with incense. 
it is amazing. It lasts all day and it just has like a uniqueness to it that is just mind-blowing. The quality of this is insane. But then we have this new addition to my collection, Reinvented Pheromones. Um, it's not a pheromone fragrance in the sense that like, oh yeah, they're marketing it as pheromones, like it's going to like get someone to be seduced by you. No, it's just like in the name. There's a pheromone accord, meaning it's literally supposed to like mimic that, but it's not like actually that. So this is such an interesting fragrance. Very kindly gifted to me by the brand at Exxons, actually. Was not expecting that whatsoever, uh, but they just surprised me with this. They were like, just choose. And I was like, okay, it's hard. Well, I'll choose this one. Um, they had some new releases, which I was tempted by, and they didn't have extra bottles of those. So I was like, I'll get this. I think they also recommended this to me. Um, I mean, very generous of them. But basically, this has top notes of pink pepper, saffron, bergamot, mid notes of cardamom, elemi, jasmine, orris root, orris root, and rose, and then base notes of platinum, vanilla, sandalwood, musk, vetiver, cypriot oil. The way that Reinvented does their fragrances is quite interesting because so many of their scents are like super, super unique, and these are two examples. So Epiphany, we already talked about it, but Pheromones is one that I'm definitely kind of getting to know. I'm still testing this fragrance. I'm still using it. It, to me, comes off as um, kind of like a soft, spicy perfume, but there's some zest to it. There's some sweetness, but it's nothing overbearing. This is not a sweet fragrance by any means. There's something that, that's aromatic about it, but still zesty with that pink pepper and saffron. I love the citruses at the top too. I think it really makes this fragrance fragrance quite special. It's a modern performer. I'd say it stays on throughout the day, but it's not going to be like a projection kind of fragrance. It's not going to project like this one does. Epiphany, you spray two sprays and you're good for the rest of the day. Like literally for the rest of the day. So what I've been doing this week is I've been spraying this like, you know, five sprays of this and then two sprays of Epiphany on like various areas, on um, like different areas. Um, and I just love this combo together. I don't know, I don't know if they meant to have these more be worn together, but I love layering fragrances anyway. But yes, Pheromones by Reinvented. This is new to me. I absolutely love this perfume and I love this brand. I have wanted to try Mallow by Suodora for a very long time. So many people have said very positive things about it. So I was excited to get this one. Um, I really, really like it. So Mallow, um, for those of you who are not familiar, has top notes of raspberry, pink, uh, pepper and vanilla sugar, mid notes of orange blo blossom, heliotrope and almond, and then base notes of iris, black musk and amber. Say black musk. Okay. Um, this is a perfume that smells like very candied, like in the opening, kind of like a candied, you know, marshmallow with violets. Um, but then the dry down is like very soft and like actually very like soothing and relaxing. Um, you definitely get that powderiness with the violet. I have been obsessed with powdery fragrances and this is just a really good iteration of that. You do have to like sweeter fragrances. So if you're a fan of Gourmands, this is a fragrance to consider, but you also have to like powdery perfumes as well. The longevity on this is pretty impressive. I'm still getting to know this brand, uh, but so far I have been really impressed by Mallow. Jani, Jani is also on my wish list as well. That is a gourmand, but it's not too sweet. The way they do their fragrances is very much um, inspired by classic French perfumery, but with a modern twist that I find very interesting. And Mallow is an example of that. But I really like this fragrance a lot. Again, it's a lot fruitier in the opening. Um, it's a lot sweeter in the opening. It kind of like almost smells like an artificial candy almost. And then in the dry down you get that beautiful powdery kind of like almost lipsticky but not quite. Uh, violet as well uh, with that musk. I love it. I really really love it. So Mallow by Soradora. This is beautiful. All right so those are five fragrances I have been obsessed with recently. Again some old tried and true and tested favorites and some new additions to my collection that I've been loving. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I will see you next time. Bye!